there. I'm Crystal Covington, founder of Women of Denver, and I am so excited to welcome you to your new member orientation. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited. So to tell you a little bit about me, I'm Crystal Covington. I founded the Women of Denver back in 2014 when I had be, um, I had moved to Denver in 2013, and I've been here for a year. So my goal with Women of Denver was to create a community of other women who also enjoy personal development and to create an atmosphere where someone like myself can feel comfortable. I'm an introvert. I like to talk about deeper topics. I don't like to just go to happy hours. Um, you will not find me at many happy hour events. I really enjoy things that go a little deeper and educate my mind. So I created the type of experience that I wanted to have. And as Women of Denver grew, we also took in um, ideas and expectations from the members who were getting involved. People would say, hey, I want to be able to speak. Hey, I want to have this access. I need a class on this. I really want to grow here. And I would add things into the group as they were asked for because it was my intention to make this something that really had value to people and wasn't just another networking thing that people go to. Um, I wasn't into networking, so that wasn't even of, of my nature to create. So it had to be bigger. It had to be deeper. It had to help us develop and become the type of people that we want to be and reach our goals. And that's what we made here at Women of Denver and what we stand for. Women of Denver provides educational opportunities and networking. And the goal for us is to help women increase their business acumen, build leadership skills, and ultimately earn their worth. So one of the most important things in anybody's life is really the opportunity to be able to um, fend for yourself, not to be relying on other people. That's the base level. So being able to have the enough money and resources to be able to survive, um, but then also having the, because that's power. If you don't have your own resources, you know, you can't control your own life. And, you know, what we do is take it even a, a step further. So whatever your vision of success is, we will never impose on you what our vision of success is. But whatever that is, Women of Denver's programming should help you get there. So whether you own your own business or you're in a corporate career, we have curriculum designed to help you on either side of that. So we have career-oriented leadership topics, you know, pay negotiation, um, you know, how to manage up with your boss. And we have a lot of workshops dedicated to our business owners because we really want you to be able to market yourself successfully, successfully grow and scale your business and be financially successful and not continue to be digging in a hole and going into debt for a business. We want you to last through that first five years. And so it's really important um, for our future as women that we continue to provide that kind of education. So there's a lot of really strong um, quality materials that are being um, created here, as well as the opportunity to network and really connect in with yourself and the, per the personal development that goes along with the professional. One thing I want to say is um, when I was uh, looking to negotiate my salary for the first time, I actually tried three years in a row unsuccessfully because I hadn't worked on the personal. I knew the tactics. I had my little piece of paper in my hand that said what my job should be worth and why. And I never pulled that piece of paper out because I didn't have the development I needed to be able to feel worthy um, and to stand up to my boss. So a lot of what we do is just so 360 degrees taking care of every piece of who we are and what we need to be to reach our goals. We host over 50 events a year, which is a lot. People look at me like we're crazy, <laughs> but it really isn't that crazy. Um, throughout the month, you'll be able to meet with us three or four times. There are small group workshops and masterminds. There's big events like our quarterly networking party, which has um, like 150 people. So you'll find experiences that fit everything you're looking for. And the goal was for Women of Denver to just be this perfect one-stop shop for people. You don't have to join a bunch of groups to get different types of experiences. You can come here and you can get your workshops, you can get your networking, you can get your masterminds, you can find connection, you can grow. 
everything that you're looking for, you'll be able to find here in Women of Denver. Or you can tell us what you're looking for so we can make it for you. But there's just so much that you can get involved in, not to overwhelm you, um, but so that you can find opportunities um, that fit your schedule. And the online program that we have allows you to access training courses as well. So if you're just super busy or you just don't like leaving your house, but you want the information, we have access to um, an online community that gives you training courses that you can go through, um, as well as other resources that can help you get the tools that you're looking for and to build your network through the tool as well. And I'll show you that in a little bit. So our member benefits include, so we have three different membership types, but they have same benefits as far as these few things I'm going to mention. So the ability to attend our events at no additional cost, access to the online training courses I told you about, priority consideration for speaker slots. So the way speaker slots work is on our twice monthly event email, you'll see at the bottom there's a form to apply to be a speaker. And you can use that form to let us know that you're interested. Um, and what we do with that is we have a curriculum set up of what we want for the next four to six months. And then we'll look for people who fit into those slots. And we're pretty creative with it, so don't worry. If it says, if we're looking for leadership and yours is loosely related to leadership, you still could get um, selected. And we also do panels and things like that, so you can be selected for a panel even if you're the topics that you submitted weren't quite a fit for what we're looking for in that period. And so on that application form, there are people who are non-members who apply to speak as well. And so we put our impact members ahead of those. So if there's five people for consideration, we're going to consider the impact member first or the Power Woman of Denver first or a nonprofit member first. And there's twofold reason for that. One, we want to give back to the people who give to us. You're um, committed to this community. You're a part of this. You are networking. You're contributing to our members. You're belonging to, you know, what we've created here. And that makes you priority, hands down. Um, and then the other thing is one of the initial reasons that we did this is because the best way to really get to know each other is to see each other present you get to understand what that person's expertise is, how passionate they are about the things that they do and the impact they're making in the world. And I think that's just one of the most priceless pieces of being part of Women of Denver is having that opportunity for peer-to-peer -peer learning and um, education. So um, that's really why we do that. And the people that you find speaking are generally impact members or people that we've seen in action that were like, oh my God, we need to have you on our stage, or generally they're advocates and people that have been mentors to women of Denver that have supported us on our board with ideas or um, just help to support this community. Because again, we like to give back to people that are part of our network and community and you know, supporting the women that are involved in our group. Um, we also offer opportunities to be featured. So one of the things that I'm really big on is building influence and personal branding. And Women of Denver is a perfect place to do that, especially if you are um, you know, looking to build up your reputation and you know, really help people to get familiar, familiar with you and, you and your thought leadership style and things that you offer the world. Um, so we have uh, something called a impact member feature that you can apply for to be able to give us information about yourself, what's going on, what are you passionate about, what are you doing right now, and we'll post that to our blog. You can also share with us your latest accomplishments and updates, and we can post those on social media up to twice a month. So you'll see when you, um, you should have received when you joined an email that lets you know what links you can use. So there's something called a member forms page, and you can go find the member forms page to apply for those benefits. Um, and also on, and I'll show you in just a minute, your membership um, site page after login, you'll see that uh, information there as well. So there's a couple different places to find those links to be able to apply and use those benefits. But I would definitely take advantage of them. And if you ever choose to upgrade to the Power Women of Denver membership, 
that one has over five thousand dollars worth of promotional assets to it and part of that the biggest part of that is advertising in the magazine which has a really wide distribution um, to uh, a corporate um, really co a corporate audience because we mail it to corporations um, business executives decision makers and things like that and um, it has a really huge digital following. Um, a lot of people read it digitally. We print it and distribute it throughout the city as well. Um, so that magazine is a really big asset. We also do things like sharing their profiles um, and a lot of other things to really help the Power Women of Denver because that is really um, the promotional membership. The purpose of that is for women who want to promote themselves, especially to a corporate audience and get more corporate clientele um, or reach affluent audiences, that's really um, huge for them in being able to continue to brand themselves in front of the right people. The types of events that we hold are fourfold. So we have our learning series workshops, which are based on the Women of Denver curriculum, which is building your business acumen, um, developing your leadership skills, and the personal development. And that includes things like you'll find negotiation workshops, career development workshops, you'll find um, wellness workshops, how to take care of your health, how to prioritize um, self-care, um, the confidence. There's a variety of topics that fit within what we're trying to do as far as the curriculum of Women of Denver. We also have mastermind sessions. I find that a lot of people don't know what those are, so if you've never heard of it, it's a strategic opportunity to bring your problems or your ideas to work with the group to get new resources and opportunities um, suggested to you. So, for example, there might be five people in the room. So let's say there's five folks. We all sit around a table and you'll have your turn, um, which might be about 10 minutes, and you'll share with the group. Um, your challenge or the thing that you're trying to work on. So you might say, you know, I'm really trying to figure out how to make a new style of ruler that is flat but furry. And the group might say, okay, well, that's really interesting. So I know someone who created a flat and furry ruler, and I'm really excited to introduce you to that person. Oh, great. I'd love an introduction. Mine will be a little different than what they've created, and maybe we can work together on something. Or someone might say, you know, I think the library has a 3D printer you can use for free so you can create a prototype. So that's the kind of conversations that happen in the mastermind sessions. And the purpose of those is to really help you get out of your own head. A lot of times we have these things that, you know, you're trying to figure it out and you don't really know where to go. And when you have this conversation, you can say, oh, my gosh, I now know where I can go to you know, solve this problem, I may not have the solution, but I have some new ideas, and I know how somebody else solved this problem um, or you know, worked on this idea, and now I feel a little more, um, I, I feel a little more at ease, and I know where to get started. Badassery in the boardroom is really close to my heart because it has, I mean, there's a million reasons why this exists, but I'll give you two. So first off, women are notorious for not talking about their wins, not celebrating their own successes, being modest, letting other people take the glory. Uh-uh. We need to change that because, one, other women learn from you when you talk about your success. So when we hear that you did something, we can understand what you did and do it ourselves so that we can achieve as well. You also help yourself to really start feeling more confident, building that reputation for success because you deserve it, and getting higher levels of achievement because people know what you're about and what you can do. That after in the boardroom is also important because um, it was created because of a mistake I made. I actually thought of the idea after I left someone high and dry when she was sharing her successes with me. We sat down for coffee. And I said, how are you doing? And she said, oh, I'm doing great. I just had this amazing success story, and it's going to transform my whole summer. I'm going to be doing well for about six months because of this thing that I just accomplished. And I said, oh, okay, that's great. What else is going on? And after our meeting, she, she sent me a text message and said, I apologize if I sounded like a jerk. That was my bad, my mistake. I really screwed that up. 
because I was not trained to know how to even celebrate success with somebody. That was not normal for a woman to, for me to say, how are you doing? And for a woman to say, I just succeeded. Um, so I needed to change my own culture to make sure that I know how to process these things when somebody tells me that I can do better next time now because I have the practice of listening to a woman talk about her power story and saying, oh my gosh, that's badass. I'm inspired by you. Thank you for sharing that. That was excellent. Go do it again. You know, just being able to be a celebratory force for another woman and that inspires her to keep achieving. That inspires her to share it with someone else and it inspires me to go and follow in her footsteps. And then lastly, and most importantly, is the quarterly networking party. It's really the opportunity. Since it's on a Saturday, it's out of the way. I know, you know, a lot of people are busy during the week, but a lot of times we can dedicate one Saturday a quarter to come out and network. So a lot of our members come out. You'll find the most diverse crowd of any event at the quarterly party and get to kind of meet people from all different avenues and areas. We get a lot of visitors as well. So there's about 150 people um, to 200 at the quarterly networking party. And we have just a mix of ways to get involved. So you come there, there's opportunities for open networking. Then we have speakers to inspire you. We have um, more networking and then some opportunities for activity-based networking. So I call it facilitated networking where we tell you, okay, go find three people and create a group and talk about this or work on a project together. And it gives you the chance to get to know people in a different way. Because when you walk up to people, it's kind of awkward. You meet a new person, you shake their hand, you say, what do you do? And that falls flat a lot of times. When you walk up to a person, you say, hey, the person up on the stage told me I'm supposed to come up and talk to you about my hopes and dreams. So let's talk about that. And you go so much deeper because you talked about something that's not typical, that goes deeper than surface level and helps you really feel a connection to each other. So the quarterly party is really important. If you can make it, I really hope to see you there. All right, so now it's time for us to review the technology that goes along with your membership at Women of Denver. So if you visit our website at thewomenofdenver.com, You'll find information about our organization, of course, but you'll also see the plus sign member login button. So this is where you'll go to get access to the member site. Click on that button. And you'll see the details of your membership. Here you'll see when you joined your expiration date a little something from me to welcome you and the details of everything you need to know about your membership. So this will give you access to a recorded member orientation that can help you if you have any questions um, about your membership in the future, a way to join our digital community, which I'll show you in just a little bit, a place to find your member forms, which will give you access to special membership benefits, such as being able to share your updates for our social media. Yes, we will tell the world about your accomplishments if you fill out a form, um, to fill out a blog request so you can give us updates about who you are, what are you up to, all of that, so that we can post it on our blog. And then also opportunities to speak and facilitate workshops. You can pitch yourself for an event on the member forms page. We also have our code of conduct and then the ability for you to um, use a coupon code to get a free t-shirt. After your bio information, you'll also see the list of upcoming events. If on the membership page you choose an event, you'll be able to register for the events using a automatic discount code. So all you'll need to do is go into enter promo code, put in your email address, and click apply. Anytime you're going to register for one of our events at Women of Denver through Eventbrite, and you'll get your free registration. The system will always have your email address um, listed as one of our members, and so you'll always get the opportunity to get your free registration when you come to our events. 
back to the member portal, one of the links that's offered is the ability to join our digital community. Our digital community is run through a program called Mighty Networks. Through this system, we're able to offer you on-demand digital courses that provide similar curriculum to what you'll find at our in-person events. You can also download the Mighty Network app to access our network and content on the go. You'll find that you can easily locate and meet other members through the network and create closer connection to the people you meet. You can locate members that are near you or search for members with relevant professions. I hope you'll take the time to navigate around to find out how this platform can support your goals. Our courses will include topics such as pay negotiation, sales and marketing, public relations, building marketing funnels, creating business systems for productivity and project management, leadership development, hiring employees, and so much more. Thanks so much for taking the time to join this member orientation. I hope to see you at an event or to meet you in our online network.